Hi there folks, uh, my name is Matt and welcome to the XOAuth setup tutorial. Um, well, today we're looking at setting up and running XOAuth just to retrieve your tokens. Um, so yeah, let's begin. What you're going to do first is make sure that you have a uh, Zero Developer app uh, all set up inside of your My Apps page. So of course, come over to the Zero Developer screen, My Apps, and create yourself a new app if you haven't done so already. Now I've already got one set up for us at the moment. Um, just named it Matt's XOAuth app, uh, developer.zero.com. I have localhost 8080 callback. This one is required for um, our for for use with um, XOAuth. However, you can change the port number with a command inside of it. Um, I had that one added just to create the app at the moment. Client ID and a client secret. I'm going to have to bin this one though because we're going to have to get a new client secret. And there we go. Okay, so I've got that all done at the moment. But first of all, where do I actually have to install XOAuth? Now, I'm on Windows, so I'm going to have to use Scoop to install it. I'm not going to go through installing Scoop. Uh, there are plenty of tutorials out there to do that. Um, I'm sure we'll, we'll probably link a good one just to find out how to, how to do it yourself. So let's go ahead and install the Git repo for it. Let's just grab it in there, check in the repo. There you go, fantastic. Now I already have Scoop installed on the system, but I want to go Scoop, install XOAuth, just so you can see what it looks like. And there you go, XOAuth is already installed. So if you get a warning message saying that, well, you've already installed it, well done. Um, but you can also update it. So let's just make sure I've got the most recent version installed. And there we go, Ver latest versions have all been installed, fantastic. So. Next thing you want to do is run the xOauth setup command. So you don't need the name on it on the end anymore. Uh, so you can just go xOauth set up and let's enter a name for it. So I'm just going to call this xOauth just to make it easy. What's the authority? You just have to enter at this point just to add identity.zero.com. Um, you can actually use uh, this tool with any um, uh, authority you, you want you don't have to just use it for zero uh the zero api um so go ahead use that as use it as you will um, but i'm just going to hit enter what's my client id let's head over to the developer page grab the client id i've just created and right click it so you hit it in and then enter now we do have the other types uh the client credentials we we're not using client credentials um with zero um, it's just there for use with, if you do want to use a, a separate authority and they use client credential grant types. Um, but we ha we're going to be using the authorization code at the moment. We do support Pixie uh, as well. We've recently released Pixie, so um, go ahead and use that if you want as well. It will be a slightly different setup and we may do a tutorial on that as well. But I'm going to select authorization code. What's my client secret? As before, I had to bin my last one and generate a new one, so I'm just going to copy that out. Paste that in and hit enter. Now, let's just save my page right there just in case we, we get to later. Now, at this point, we're just going to have to add our scopes. Um, so we've got open ID and offline access in there by default as they're required. Um, but let's add our extra ones in there as well. So let's add the rest of the open ID scopes. Email. You do have to do these one at a time. Profile. Uh, let's add accounting transactions also there we go fantastic and that's all i want open id offline access email profile and accounting dot transactions just hit d when you're done and there you go that's you set up now this isn't an error message this is just a little warning saying hey make sure you have uh, http localhost 8080 callback as a redirect uri luckily we've already added it in there so fantastic that's all good there so now that we've got everything set up all we want to do is go XOAuth, connect, choose a client. Of course, I've only got the one in there, so let's hit enter. And there we go. Um, I've done this earlier, so I already had one other organization selected, uh, but let's just connect my PKCE test org as well. Why not? And go allow access. It will This will open up your um, default browser. Uh, just to just to show you that you've done it correctly, you can close this window as soon as it opens up. You don't have to do this. Um, and as well as it being shown in the browser, it also is spat out inside of the command prompt. So that is very handy. 
Um, and that's basically it, guys. I'm going to do a second video just on running some extra tools and whatnots, uh, extra commands and everything, just to say you forget to add a um, another uh, scope to your to your setup. Uh, we'll go through that in a moment. Um, but yeah, happy APIing, team.